the largest rooftop solar project in Australia. We made simple, obvious changes, but to meet our target of reducing emissions by 70% by 2030, we need to change the way we power our city. This means shifting away from coal fired power and investing in clean local energy, including tri-generation, fuel by renewable gas. Tri-gen provides electricity, heating and cooling, and it's used in cities like New York, Paris, London and Seoul. And the Chinese government has a 50,000 megawatt tri-generation target, bigger than Australia's entire national electricity market. So our city, our planet city is not radical. It's a tried and tested way to power global cities. And cities should be part of it because Australia is already experiencing the impacts of climate change. The Bureau of Meteorology confirms 2013 was our hottest year on record, marked by extreme weather events, bushfires and heatwaves. And in a major review yesterday, the Climate Change Authority, chaired by the Reserve Bank Governor Bernie Fisher, not known as a radical, found uh, Australia's current target to cut emissions by 5% by 2020 is not a credible step towards Australia meeting our contribution to keep warming to reduce warming to two degrees. And that this target will be an improbably large task for future Australians. So that's, that's yesterday's report. Meanwhile, our Prime Minister is hell bent on repealing the price on carbon, has asked to the agencies, including respect to climate commission, and an appointed climate sceptic to review Australia's renewable energy target. But, but, but the fact is, we already have many of the tools we need to future-proof our cities and save our planet from catastrophic warming. We know what needs to be done and we know how to do it. Now is the time for more women to say something and do something to show our state and federal political leaders that we want action based on science and evidence, not the paralysis of being promoted by vested industries. Tweet, call your local MPs and tell them you want action. Talk to your family and friends about what's at stake and take your own action. If you don't know how, join the group called A Million Women. It's a campaign of daughters, mothers, sisters and grandmothers who have committed to take practical action on climate change by cutting one million tonnes of carbon dioxide. Every woman who joins, every woman who joins, has a personal goal to cut one ton of carbon dioxide from their daily lives within a year. You don't have to be an expert, just join and then you'll be guided every step of the way. You need to Google onemillionwomen.com.au for more information. Now is not the time to stay silent and do nothing. We have such a short window of opportunity to act to take action. Our future depends on it, and we depend on you. Happy Monday, everybody.